I think we're live. Hello. Hello, Facebook caught me off guard. I'm usually ready to go. And I had this message saying, um, not working basically. So hello, I hope it's working now. I hope y'all can see me because I had a minute there where it wasn't working. We're gonna get crafty tonight. Let's do it. We're gonna craft. I'm gonna do a giveaway or two or three, maybe. So, um, pony into the comfy nest. Hello, hello, everybody. Say hello. Let me know you're here. I gotta grab this feed so that I make sure you can all see this, which is super exciting. Now let's see here. What does this button do? We got new buttons, man. We got, <laughs> Facebook is rolling some stuff out, I think. Wait, now I can't get rid of it. Go away, yo. <laughs> hey, everybody. Let's see. What does this thing do? Oh, I see. All right, hey, Deb. Hey, Andrea Tumax. Good evening. There's Donna Calger. I'm always singing. Listen, I'm always singing. I sing all the time. I don't know why it is, but it's what I do because I love it. Hey, Terry, and there's Sam, my North Dakota girls. Are any of you, anybody else from North Dakota or neighboring states? I live in North Dakota. I grew up in Massachusetts, went to college in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania, and now I live in North, well, I went back to Massachusetts. Now I live in North Dakota. Well, I have for a very long time. So who else here is from North Dakota? And if you're not, where are you from? I'd love to know where. There's Denise, there's another North Dakota neighbor and friend. Hey, Maureen Peterson, my workout, you guys, I'm not gonna lie. I can't lie to you, because I'm not a liar. I just can't do it. All right, listen. I was pumped to go. I was like, yeah, we're gonna do this two days in a row. And when I got there and the treadmill started moving, I was like, oh, <laughs> uh, mom was feeling a little tired. So, oh Lord, Michelle. So I walked for about, I'm only on the treadmill for a half hour. Look it, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. So my, my muscles are moving in ways they have not for a very, very long time. I got this. I've been through this before. I've played this game before. So I just I just walked for about 15 minutes. And then for the last bit, I did the minute and a half of running, then walking, then running, then walking. But it was not easy. <laughs> it wasn't easy. And now things hurt. I'm a little gimpy, like I'm gimping. And my husband looked at me like, really? Yeah, really, it hurts. <laughs> My legs hurt. My hips right here, because I was running. My hips right there. They hurt right there. Oh, feeling the bird. <laughs> Yay, Denise got her happy mail from the, the drawing that she won, because I gave away some goodies in the VIP um, craft club for Chaka Tour. Hey, Natalie in Wisconsin. Patricia's here from Florida. Pal Palatka? Palatka, Florida. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Patricia, what area of Florida is that in? Yay, Denise, I'm so glad you got your happy mail. Hey, Sharon. Melissa's in Southern New Hampshire. Melissa, I grew up just north of Boston. Yes, I did. I got a sister in Methuen. I got a sister in Lawrence. I got a brother in Bedford, New Hampshire. I have a sister and a brother, two brothers who live in Melrose. I grew up on the North Shore. I did, I did. So welcome, Miss Melissa. Happy you're here. Hey, Teresa and Cheryl, I hope it doesn't, I hope it doesn't bug you guys. I love to say hi to all of you. I want to say hi to everyone. You went, that's the hardest part. And Jana says, go back tomorrow to loosen up. Listen, I was thinking, Jana, that I should take tomorrow off. Mama needs a break. I'm like leaning on the table like, oh, my legs hurt. I need to stretch, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about taking a bath. That would be lovely. We'll see. We'll see how long. I have actually a very ambitious project for us tonight. I'm doing two projects actually. First one, easy breezy lemon squeezy. You just wait and see how fast and easy it is to do home decor this way. The other project is not fast, but it's going to be fun. We're going to have some fun, girlfriends. I'm going to be using, so I was live earlier, Michelle and Annette sent me fabulous happy mail, and I'm going to be using the happy mail that I got in the mail to create a book tonight. I love paper projects, I really do. So I'm gonna be using the card that Michelle sent me. Where is the card? This is my inspiration. 
Amazing people can do amazing things. She sent me this beautiful card and I don't want to throw it away. It has a beautiful little sentiment on the inside. It's got this really cut, beautiful colored page. We're going to use, this is like, this is the foundation of this book and the napkin that I want to use. And I'm going to give away a couple of these napkins. I'm also going to give this first project away. So let's get started because I actually am going to be doing a lot tonight. I'm feeling ambitious. <laughs> I'm feeling ambitious, although my body hurts. I got so many good things, Donna. If you didn't see that, if you did not see the live earlier, girls, you spoiled me. And I'm super excited. Like, I hope it excites Michelle to know I'm going to be using the stuff that she sent me. Um, the stuff that Annette, Annette sent me, I really, really want to make a wall hanging with the tag she gave me because they're so beautiful and so special. They really are really, really beautifully done. So I, that may be another project. Um, you know, I go to Mexico on Thursday. I'm so excited. Go to Mexico on Thursday. I come back next week. So it's about a week. So that'll have to wait. That'll have to wait until I get back. But anyway, where's my chair? Um, I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do with the stuff that Annette sent me. So girls, thanks for spoiling me. Thank you. Thank you. Look at this. Check this out. Wait, I gotta get, I fluff the nest. I, I never put that in the description of the video, but I did tonight. Um, be a love. Be a love. I usually, I used to have this on my table when I was working and I don't know why I don't anymore. I should put this down here. Um, and I would say, just be a love. If you, if you don't mind, be a love and share, help a girlfriend out by fluffing the nest or sharing this video. You're really helping me. Or when you do that for anybody on Facebook, you're really helping those business owners meet new people. So if you're here for the first time because you came upon this, <laughs> because somebody did that, thank you for being here. Tell me you're new. Let us know because the other crafty chicks and I love to welcome new people. Okay, this little, this little project. This is a new, brand new kit that's only available in the month of March. Um, I am stinking excited about it. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie because it's a try me kit for people who have seen Chocotour but haven't tried it yet. It's a little over $22. I think it's $22.36 if I'm right. I don't know why the 36, but that's what it is. Um, and it comes with the cutting board, the Chocotour cutting board, which is sweet. It's like, it's bigger than five by seven, but it fits our five by seven transfers, our design. So it comes with the transfer, this one here. It's a cutting board, so it has like a kitchen theme, right? The, the transfer. So we're gonna do this. I'm gonna show you how easy and fun this is to use. And if you've never tried it before and you've been, if you've been hesitant, um, I wanted to show you real quick how easy it is. I'm gonna post this demonstration in the VIP Craft Club for um, Chocotour so that those of you who are in there, if you decide to get this kit for $22.36, um, then you can go back to the video and find it easily. It'll be in the feature tab and, and follow along. Okay, so I'll go step by step. It's a cute little board, right, Teresa? It's cute and you can totally double side. You can totally double side it. Here's your cute little transfer. Time to eat with the tomato. Time to eat, I love the font. Um, and the tomato, so you can do whatever colors you want, like nobody's the boss of you, but it comes with the board, the transfer design, it comes with a mini squeegee, your kit, and then it comes with two packs of paste, two little packs of paste. The packs of paste, I do not have packs of paste in the colors that you would get in your kit. The colors you're gonna get are Current Jam and Pesto. Those are the two colors for your tomato and your greenery, and you can do your words whatever color you want. All right, yeah, for sure. We're gonna do the tomato red, the greenery green. What color do you think I should do the words? Type now, <laughs> green or red, green or red. You vote for me while I tell you. So you're not gonna get full pots of paste. I have those two colors that you will get with your kit in pots. I do not have them in singles. You will get two singles, which is way more than you need. It comes with a way more than you need to do this project. So when you get it, you're going to need it just to make sure it's nice and mixed up well. If it got frozen along the way, because I live in the tundra of North Dakota, if it gets frozen, don't worry, just let it get to room temperature and then squeeze. It's like a little ketchup packet. So just knead, knead it, make sure you move it all around in there and then get it toward the bottom. 
you're gonna cut with your scissors just a corner, just cut the corner off just enough to access the paste. And what you're gonna do is take a little piece of wax paper and just squeeze enough of this, just to put a little squeeze of it on the wax paper and then use your squeegee to pick it up and use it on your project. Then what you're gonna have a lot of this left over, your little single pack. So just squeeze it down to the bottom, squeeze all of the paste down to the bottom and then roll this up and put a paper clip on it. And look, you guys, Michelle sent me these paper clips today. We should use one. <gasps> oh, it's so exciting. Michelle sent these to me. This was in my happy mail today, these little paper clips. So then you're just gonna take a sweet little paper clip and paper clip this and put it aside. All your paste is sitting down in here and it'll be ready to go next time you need it. These are these were meant to be singles. They were meant to be single serve basically, but you can get more use out of it. I just know it because there's so much paste in there. And for a tiny little project like this, you will not use a full you will not use a full one. Isn't that cute? Red for words cuz those are my colors, Michelle says. I do too. Samantha. Miss Sam is here. She said, "I love Taco Tour." Me too. Yes, you can still order this. This is available to all customers. Joyce, this is available to all customers. When you go to my chalk site, you want to go, gosh, you guys, I'm so bad at this. I need an assistant. <laughs> I'm so, I, like, I feel like I'm so spoiled when I say that. You, when you go to my chalk site, you go to my chalk site. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this. You go to my chalk site and then you go to the drop down menu and you're gonna go to shop. And then you're gonna go to specials or kits, either one of those sections, specials or kits. Joyce, this is how you get there. Go to kits or specials, and then, oh, I hit the wrong button. Clearly, I hit the pastes. Hold on. We don't want paste. We want to see the kit. I'm doing it backwards. You're going to hit shop. No, that's not what I want. You're going to hit shop. And then, where's my little drop-down menu? Special. Nope, that's lots of love. My fat fingers won't do it. <laughs> fingers are all confused. Come on, baby. Hold on, girls. Hold on. Let me see. Where is it? I keep hitting the wrong thing. Here, kits. Kits. Let's see if I can get my finger to hit that. And then look, it's right there. There's the kit. There's the kit. You click on it and that's everything that you get in the kit. And then you just add it to your cart. And in fact, I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys this link. Let me see if I can give you this link. Cause I get, I get super like, I get super, um, like pumped that I can even do this. Copy and paste, right? I'm so fancy. I'm so fancy pantsy with the, <laughs> the copying and pasting. Let's see, we're gonna paste the link to this. I think I did it. I think I did it. I think you guys can see it now. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you that it's out. It's only available for March, limited time. You get 20% off. So the price of the kit is 20% off what you would pay if you put it all together yourself. So it's a nice deal. Anyway, let's put it together because I'm super excited. Here's our board. I'm gonna flip it because I'm working this way. Um, you peel this off. It's a reusable adhesive transfer. And it's like a silk screen. So like I cannot put my finger through the tomato. There's a silk screen there. And that's what gives us this really beautiful design. And you just wash it with water. Here's my backing. I wanna keep that because I'm gonna put it away. I'm gonna fuzz it on my shirt. I'm just gonna put it on my shirt and peel it off because it's pretty darn sticky. And you can do that a couple of times. And then you're gonna go ahead and put it on whatever surface you want to. If you put it on a surface that is non-porous, like a chalkboard, you can erase it later and then redesign your surface. This is a wood board. It's a regular wood board. So it's porous and I will not be able to, like, I can't erase this off of here. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit low, like here's the bottom of the board. And the reason I'm gonna do that is because I think it would be really pretty to put some little bits of ribbon up there. I'm gonna give this project away tonight, you guys. I'm gonna create it. And then one of you, one of you lucky ladies or gentlemen, <laughs> one of you are gonna win it. So um, what I need you to do, Becky loves these boards. Isn't that so cute? It's darling and it's thick, you guys. It's really well made. Um, I'm gonna give this exact board, I'm gonna create it, design it, 
then I'm going to give it away to somebody tonight. So make sure that you say hello in the comments because I'm going to randomly scroll through the comments to choose a winner. Um, and hopefully you are still here when I do that because I would need you then to send me your mailing address so I can send it to you. <laughs> got it. I got it. <laughs> Michelle, that she said that's me singing. I got it. I got it. Oh gosh, you guys are so fun. I did it. <laughs> Christy, you are so good. Thank you for sharing my link. Christy, listen girls, we have such good people in our community. Thank you so much, my love. I love, love, love this kit, Fran says. Fran, isn't it so cute? Oh, good. I'm glad you could see that. Hey, Phyllis. Do the tomato and the greenery. Let's see. Yeah, let's 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 do that. Jana, good idea. She said, any other time I would say red, but the board color is why I think we should do green. Listen, and if you if you are a chalk lover, if you if you already have, I, I hate that I hate that you can only see me of the, me of the project, not both of us. Like, I'm gonna come down here so you can see me. If you already have some chalk supplies, like I'm gonna design this with the two colors because that's what you get in the kit. So if you're brand new and just trying it, I'm gonna design it like you would. If if you don't have any other supplies, you get the kit. You have everything you need to do this board. So that's what I'm gonna use. But. If I were making this for my household, I'm going to give this one away. I think I would do the words in white and then the tomato in red and the other stuff in green. But listen, you do you, girlfriend, because you get to pick. You get to choose what colors you want. That's the really fun part about Chaka Tour. Super easy. Home decor and gifts. Super easy. I'm going to need one more squeegee because I'm lazy. <laughs> You're going to get one squeegee. And you have two colors. So what, what you want to do with your squeegee, you're going to dip it in. Let, I'll do it. I'll do it. I won't be lazy. I'll do it just the way you're going to do it. Let me show you. Grab a Clorox wipe. You could use water in a clean rag too. Like if, if you had a clean rag that had... Why can't I get this out of here? Because I'd be weak. Back to the gym I go, girls. <laughs> um, if you had just water in a clean soft rag or a paper towel, you could run this under the water um, in the sink, and then just dry it off, or just use a damp paper towel to clean it off. All right, let's do it. We are gonna do the tomato red, this stuff green. And since we're making our mind up as we go, I'm going to, um, I'm gonna start with the greenery. So here's the pesto color. I should stir it, but again, I'm lazy, so I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna pull it out of here. <laughs> And we're gonna do the greenery green. And there's way too much on there. I like you do not need a lot of this stuff. This is it'll la that's why I say you are gonna get those packs of paste. It does not look like a lot. You don't need a lot. You don't need it. We're gonna do the greenery green. We'll do the tomato in red. I'm just gonna do the whole tomato. I'm not gonna get real fussy about it. And actually, girls, did you know that you could just if it's like a really small spot in here? You could just use your finger. You don't have to get all worried about that. Okay, so we're gonna do the greenery and green. Now I have that. We wanna put the excess back in our pot because that's reusable. And then you're just gonna wipe this off with a, I gotta wipe my finger too. You know, wipe this off with your little wipe. Make sure you don't have like wetness on there and then you can go into your other color, which for you, you guys are gonna get, um, it's called current Current jam, right? Yeah, current jam. All right, here comes our tomato. The current jam is actually, I think it's a little bit pink. Again, if you get this kit and you choose to use other colors because you have them on hand, then do that. I'm going to paste and peel. So you paste a little bit of it. I'm going to peel it up because I want to make sure that it's a silk screen transfer. So it's a little net. And I want to make sure that the product, the wet paste, it doesn't dry inside the little netting, the little silk screen, because if it dries in the silk screen and then I pull it up, it's not gonna transfer onto your board. So we, I call this paste and peel. So I do a little bit of pasting and I peel it back just to make sure that those spots all transfer onto the board. I'm gonna take some air, cool air, and I'm, nope, that's not cool though. Hold on girls. This thing is a heat, heat thing and I don't want heat. I don't want any heat because this is, plastic. You don't want to melt it. It's adhesive. You don't want to melt your adhesive. But we're going to dry everything. 
I think we're going to do the words in red because I think the red shows up better, you guys. Now, Jana, you were so smart, my friend. You were so smart because Jana said, do the tomatoes, do the greenery, and then we'll see on this dark board. Um, <laughs> you guys, you are so always so cute. You apologize for being late. You don't have to apologize for being late. You're always welcome here. No, it's not paint, Pam. It's not a stencil with paint. A normal stencil has holes in it, right? Here's my circle stencil I use all the time in my art journaling. This is a normal stencil and I can put my hand through it, right? Because it's completely open there. You use paint with these. These are silk screen transfers. So it has like netting where the tomato is. I can't put my finger through there. There's a net there. It's a little like just like you used to make t-shirts it's and you can make t-shirts with these too i did a few of these in the vip craft club um recently oh I, I i put my i'm gonna pack mine the one i just did i'm gonna pack it away with me so it's in my bedroom getting ready to be packed um but yeah you can you can make t-shirts with these too or fabric projects because it's a silk screen just like silk screeners used to make t-shirts but look it, I think that Jana is right. We needed to see them both. You can see the green. You can actually see it pretty darn well. But I think I'm gonna do the words in red because I like the red better. So now that everything's dry, this is dry, that's dry. I'm gonna put that down, but I'm not gonna push on this part because I've already designed it. I don't need it to adhere strongly again. And I certainly don't wanna pull any of my design off. So I'm only gonna push on the words. And I, all I'm doing is making sure that it sticks back down because it's adhesive. So it helps us to avoid that bleed through. So I wanna make sure my words, there's no bubbles. There's like nothing like underneath there that shouldn't be, that got stuck to the adhesive. We're gonna do that. All we do is just push it on down there. And now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna finish it by, I'm gonna use the red. I think the red is gonna be the color we want here. I think it's gonna show up better. So all I'm doing is I'm taking a little bit of that paste and that's actually probably too much. You're gonna take a little bit of that paste and you're gonna squeegee it through. You're pushing it through the silk screen onto the board. And you can see, you don't wanna leave a lot behind. You can actually read the word time. You wanna scrape it so that you're not leaving a ton behind. It's two things. You're saving your paste, which you, know, you bought it. You don't wanna just throw it out. You can save it by putting it back in the pot and using it on another project, that's number one. And number two, it makes it easier to clean your silk screen later because there's not as much paste on it. So your cleanup job is easier. Because um, you wash these with warm water, like room temperature warm, not hot. Again, we don't want to melt anything. We're going to wash it with warm water and a disinfectant wipe or one of our board erasers. You're going to wash this, let all the paste come off of this the um, transfer down the drain let it dry i put them upside down so sticky side up on a rag and i let them dry in my craft room and then you just put it back on its backing and it's done okay let's peel it off because we're all done now Ta -da! see how easy it is you guys and this kit you get the board you get the transfer, which we're gonna wash it in the sink with just water. And then I put it, I take a disinfectant wipe and I wipe the front, I wipe the back once all the stuff is off. And then I put it sticky side up, I let it dry. And then I take the backing and I put it back on the backing and it's gonna remain sticky for like 10, 10 uses, 10, eight, eight, 10, 12 uses. It just depends on how well you clean them and take care of them. Um, so you just file it away until the next time you wanna use it, okay? So this is, if you're a sign maker, this is way faster than weeding and using a silhouette to weed. It's, I think it's cheaper because you're not buying all the, the vinyl to use. Um, and these come, these pots of paste in the packs, you can buy singles of paste or you can buy the big pots if you think you're gonna do it a lot. And um, there's this will last you like, you guys, I opened this in March of 2020. <laughs> March of 2020, I opened that and I'm still using that paste. So the paste will last you a very long time unless you're doing like unusually high amounts of, of this, which clearly I don't because look at, I still have a lot of that left. Okay, so 
it's as easy and breezy as that. You're gonna let it dry. You can force it to dry. You can force it. You can hit it with some air and let it, but you wanna let it dry, okay? I'm gonna get some ribbon because I'm gonna put a little bit of ribbon on here. I think that'll be really cute. Oh my God, my legs hurt, you guys. I shouldn't have said God's name in vain. I apologize, Lord, but my legs are killing me. Holy schmoly. I, you guys, you know what's gonna happen when I wake up in the morning. <laughs> you know, you know that I'm gonna be in major pain. Holy, because when you're inactive for a while, right, that's when it hits you. Yowzer, I'm just over here getting some ribbon, folks. Don't mind me. I'm just trying to pull some ribbon to see. Oh, Lord of oh, Lord. Oh, I can't even get in my chair. Yeesh. Look at this ribbon, it's cute. It has a pin in it, but this is really cute. I'm gonna tie, I don't know, maybe, maybe it would be just okay to just do a little fabric tie on here. I'm gonna give this away. Somebody, one of you is gonna get this tonight. What if we just did this as a really cute tie, if you wanted to hang it? Now, I think it's small enough. That's really cute, you guys. It's small enough that um, you could put this like in a basket or like if you have like a tray on your kitchen table with some fruit and stuff or your tomatoes, especially if you're a gardener and you, and you garden tomatoes in the summer. How cute would this be in your kitchen somewhere, either propped up on a tiered tray or on your counter or hanging somewhere. I'm gonna put a cute little hanger here. I like to do like the decorative part here. Um, and that's totally optional because if you, whoever wins this, <laughs> if you're not in love with this, you can just untie it or cut it off. But the other thing you can do, I like the decorative part to be where the hanger is, but you could always hide that toward the back or you could pull that up front if you wanted it to have that little bow right there. I think that is so stinking cute, you guys. Are you kidding me with this? Now, I just wanna say real quickly, because let me look at the comments. I don't know how many of you, I don't know how many of you have used this or know a whole lot about it. I have not um, been talking about it on the Comfy Nest page a whole lot because I have a whole nother business page just for Chalk Couture. Um, so, but I thought, I, I really, there were so many good specials going on right now. Um, February was amazing. March, the, there's this kit, which is 20% off, plus there's other stuff I won't even get into right now. But um, I thought, I need to come onto the Comfy Nest page and explain this stuff to you, just in case. Just in case. You like it in the front, Deborah? I do too, like right there. That's cute, right? Adorable. And you could, you could add more ribbon here. I like it rather simple. Especially if it's gonna be in the kitchen, like you're gonna put it on a counter or something. Um, let's see. No, you don't get to choose. Somebody asked, can you choose the colors? No, the kit comes with two colors, these two colors. But you can add, if you go and you add this to your cart, you can go into the paste section and you can buy single packs of paste or full pots of paste in whatever color you want. You just add it to your cart. It's just one more thing to add if you want to, because you can buy just the singles or you can buy the full pot. It's not a regular stencil, Joyce. No, it's a silk screen stencil. It's very cool. Um, let's see. I'm looking for other questions that I can answer. Glow says, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so cute and easy. You guys, this is so unbelievably easy to use. So if you, listen, this is great for people who want a pretty home, they want to make their own home decor or gifts, um, and you want it to be fast and easy, you want trendy designs or lots of designs to choose from because there are lots. Um, and if you if you don't have a ton of confidence in your own skill, this, this is like, it comes out perfect every time. You don't have to worry about it. <laughs> you just, you can just do it. Plus, you don't have to buy a silhouette. You don't have to buy a Cricut. You you buy, you know, you get your collection of transfer designs that you get to choose from and then you can start using them. Very pretty. Oh, thank you. Michelle's, Michelle already ordered this kit. She took advantage of the 20% off right away when I announced it this morning. So good for you, Michelle. It should be coming soon. It's adorable. Okay, so Maureen asked, is it permanent now or do you have to seal it? Let's talk about that quick. Let's do it. Hold on. Hold on. We did this one, we did this one, was this today or yesterday? <laughs> I don't remember, it was yesterday. It was yesterday, because I cleaned the transfer this morning. This is a, 
Chocotor chalkboard. So it's an erasable chalkboard. And the paste is erasable on a chalkboard. It's erasable with water, but once it's dry, it will not move. I'm like pushing really hard here. It will not move on you once it's dry. But if you want to take it off of a chalkboard, you just spray it with water and you come in with a clean cloth and you rub, rub, rub until all of that goes away. There are other tools you can use to make that job easier. I went over that when I did this project because I erased what was on this board before I put this on there. Um, so join the VIP Craft Club if you're interested in this because you'll get lots of tips and techniques and tricks to make this easier and more fun, like just easier to use, easier to clean up, um, and how, like top coat questions, stuff like that. So this is a chalkboard that is meant to be erasable. The paste is meant to be erasable. These are the flagship products that they came out with in 2017 when I joined the company, when the company was created. The paste was meant to be used on chalkboards and erased. You can use it on whatever the heck you want. <laughs> this is a regular wooden board, but because the wooden board is porous, if I put water on here and I try to rub this off, it's gonna smear and it's going to absorb, the color is gonna absorb into the wood and you'll just lose your design. And then you'll have a colored board. You're gonna have smears of color all over the board because it's going to absorb the paste. So. You can make this permanent by just putting a spray top coat on it. Spray top coat. The reason you want to spray is because if I came on here with a brush on top coat, as soon as I brush it, I've wet it, it's going to activate it and then it can smear on you and you don't want smear. No, 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 no smearing, please. <laughs> so spray a top coat, your favorite one. I use Mod Podge, that's my brand. They have both a matte, and they have a gloss that I use. Um, but anyway, non-porous items you can spray. You don't even have to though. Like, I wanna make sure this is dry before I touch it. It's dry. Once it's dry, girls, it ain't going nowhere. So as long as you don't wet it and then rub it, it's not gonna go anywhere, okay? So you don't have to top coat it. I don't top coat anything in my house because it's just us. And I know I'm not gonna get this wet. I know that nobody's gonna come wet it, you know, come over and wet it and then rub on it. It's just not gonna happen. So I don't top coat my things. If I were selling them, I would top coat them because you wanna assure that your customer is gonna have a design for life that they love and that it's protected. In my house, I'm lazy, I don't top coat. And these, on the chalkboards, you don't top coat those. These chalkboards are made for working with the erasable paste so that you can then erase this and put a new design on once you're bored of this, which I'm not gonna get bored of this for a while because I really love it. I really love, love that one. It's a Dr. Seuss phrase because when you stop and look around, this life is pretty amazing. Okay, I'm gonna give this away later. Stay tuned, we're gonna get started on the other project. I got all this ribbon and I don't even need any of it. I just went really simple with the one linen ribbon on the top. Somebody will win this tonight. Um, so if you want it, if you want it, let me know in the comments and make sure that you say something because I'm gonna pull the name of the winner from the comments. Um, so I will send you the finished board, but but if you want to purchase this whole kit so that you can make your own, it's $22.36 and I pinned the link there so that it's a try me kit. It's a little project, simple. You saw how simple that was to put together um, and easy. Like the kids can even do this. I, for a couple of years, our local 4-H had me come to our 4-H project days and I was working with eight to 10 year olds and I did, I don't know, I can't remember if I did two or three sessions um, on a Saturday with eight to, ten, eight to 10 year olds. And they came into the room and I had little projects like this for them and they all like breeze through it. They have no problem doing it because it's pretty intuitive. Once you have someone explain and show you how to do that, the kids just ran with it and they did great. Um, something that even you could do with the kids. Pretty easy. Christina says, I need to try this. <laughs> Christina, it's so fun. I like the tie too. Yes, Deborah. so glad. Um, oh, tomato and mayonnaise sandwich. Yum. Jenna wants to have a juiced tomato, juiced tomato with cottage cheese. Oh, you guys have good ideas. 
These would make great gifts, right? How fun would that be? If you're going to someone's house for supper, right? And you want to bring a little gift, like a little thank you gift for having us over for a holiday meal or just like a, like a regular meal or a birthday party. How about bringing, bring in the, the hostess or host this? It's so cute. It's great for a decoration, Jody, because it's so little. It's way cute. I agree. You guys are so funny about talking about your sandwiches. <laughs> hey, Gina, we're just, we just chalked this cute little, this cute little board. Mod Podge is great. I do like the spray glow. I do like it. You're welcome for the explanation, Miss Maureen. Donna, this is true. I'm, I, she says you're anything but lazy. I tend to be a lazy crafter. Like I take shortcuts and I, yeah, I don't, I don't like cleaning. <laughs> I want to play with all the things, but I don't have to, I don't want to have to clean it. <laughs> Thanks, Kana. She says she's the best teacher. Thank you. Oh, Donna says, pick me. You guys keep commenting because I'm going to randomly scroll through all the comments later and give away this and a couple of napkins tonight. I, Jana, I have done that video. She's asking for a live on cleaning transfers at the sink. Oh, when I first got my texting service, my texting number's up there. When I first got my texting service, I sent them a video of how to clean them. And it's also, you can find it in the VIP Craft Club. But yes, I can do that in the VIP Craft Club. That's no problem. I actually did it at a team meeting with some of the designers on my team. And we were in, on Zoom and I said, hey, I'll show you. Come in. And I brought them right into my laundry room and showed them. Thanks, Julie. She says, I love watching you. Thanks for saying that. You're so sweet. I love that you're here hanging out with us. Lynn says, it's so pretty. I can't wait to try mine tomorrow. Ooh, she got her first order today. It's so fun. It's just so fun and easy. It just takes all the pressure off. And then it's really fun to like mix and match designs and colors and you can chalk on anything and then you can ink on fabrics and ceramics to heat set them to make them permanent. So you can make ones, baby onesies and tea towels and shirts and sweatshirts. And some people do their jean jackets and their jeans, your shoes. Like you can chalk on anything or ink on anything. Pretty much. It would be a great gift, I agree. Donna cleans as she goes. I don't generally have the luxury of that because I usually craft in a workshop live, so I don't have the time to stop and clean something up. I, you know, I just, I have to keep going for the sake of your, you know, your time. Um, okay, let's put this aside. I gotta put it aside, we will give it away later. I'm gonna pull the stuff, we're gonna make a book tonight. I'm gonna make a book tonight, you can watch and see how it's done. Um, I love paper crafting and I love book making. We just made books in the Craft Therapy Club last month, we did actually mini art journal and we did some other books that we swapped in an op optional we had an optional secret sister swap in the craft therapy club this month we're doing this project it's a mixed media colorful flower project and you can do it on canvas i do it in my art book knowing that i can rip it out and frame it if i want to but you can very well do this on a 9 by 12 canvas um the craft therapy club we meet it's called girls, I call it girls night in and it's the third, third Friday of the month. So March 18th, we're meeting, um, in the group, the private group, and I'm going to teach them how to make this. I give their, they get the supply list tomorrow. They're going to get their supply list tomorrow. And then they have a couple of weeks to gather their supplies. It's basic, basic, basic paper supplies and craft supplies. Nothing. There's a few buttons on there. You don't want decorative craft paper, some Mod Podge. The list is very basic. Your scissors, you know, your paper cutter. Um, Anyway, if you would like to join us for that, just let me know. I will get you into, right now on the website, there is a discount code for joining that club. Um, so just go to thecompanyswithgrace.com and then to the Craft Therapy Club and you'll get that discount code right there. <laughs> Christina says, I'm with you. I love to craft and I hate to clean up. <laughs> Trisha says, amazing. Jan is getting February and March kits. Yay, the March, the March design, ladies. For the club members for that club have you seen it yet have you seen it this is what the, you're getting in march you're getting a little barn with the word home home sweet home with the windmill and then it has farm fresh simply blessed eat local and then like the sprig of i would think that's wheat 
What do I know, though? And then you get these three colors. You're going to get... Oh, you can't read that, can you? You get Candy Apple, Eucalyptus, and Storm Gray. Candy Apple, Eucalyptus, Storm Gray. That is the Club Couture Transfer for March, if you have not seen it yet. It's exciting, and it's so cute. And we're going to have so much fun playing with that one. All right. I feel like I'm so behind on, comment, on comments. Sorry about that, ladies. I'm making a book, girlfriend. We're going to make a book. Look what I'm going to make it out of. So this is the card that I got in my happy mail from Miss Michelle, who's here tonight. So Miss Michelle, thank you for all the happy mail that you sent me. I had so much fun opening that today with you guys and pouring through these. I got, she sent me all these napkins. You guys know I love my napkins and we have the Napkin Lovers Club. That's a subscription box that I send craft supplies and napkins to members. It's quarterly, it's not monthly, it's a quarterly box quarterly club membership and every two weeks I go live in that group to do napkin projects. So tonight we're going to use this napkin and I'm going to give a couple of these away. It's really pretty you guys. This is the napkin I wanted to use tonight and I have a couple to give away. I'm also going to give to whoever gets the napkins some of the paper clips that, that Michelle sent me because they're just so lovely. They're, they're colorful and there's hearts and there's different shapes in here and I'm going to she gave me a lot of them and I'm, I'm so happy to share. So someone is going to get this napkin um, too. People will get the napkin and some of the clips in the mail. Stay tuned. Be here. Say hello because I'm going to pull happy mail winners from the comments. Now, Crafty Chicks, you've been here with me. I've been here for years <laughs> doing this. <laughs> it's been a long time. Let's just say it. I've been here for years. And I've gone, I've done different things for Happy Mail prizes. I love to give Happy Mail prizes. When I gave my account, my accountant this year, like a couple weeks ago, the statement of giveaways, I was like, don't even say anything. I know it's too much. <laughs> I know I give away too much, but I love to do it. It brings me joy. And I know it brings you joy, which is what brings me joy. So we're just going to keep giving Happy Mail. But what I've been doing for all of last year, what I did was I wrote down names. I pulled names from the comments, wrote them down and put them in a basket. And then later would pull names and I would announce it in the free group saying, you just want some happy mail. And then I would send it off. I'm going to do this a little more frequently where I'm instead, I'm going to be giving away during the lives. I will give little prizes and treats away to you guys. So be here live because it's going to be fun. I'm going to use this napkin, this napkin, this card. These are the two primary inspirations for this. Michelle sent me this today. She also sent me decorative paper. So this decorative paper I'm gonna to use to make this book, okay? But for the cover, she gave me beautiful, these beautiful, beautiful decorative papers that are really gonna match well with my, look at my neck. These didn't come together. Like, they're just different things I had in my stash. Plus, her card has yellows and pinks and, and the papers, although very muted, have similar colors. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna use these. Uh, we may get to the point where we use some of these. It depends on our timing. Like, you know, how much time does this take? Um, and if not, I, I've been known to make books like part one, part two, part three to show you how to make a book. Okay, what we're gonna do, I'm gonna, this is gonna be the cover of my book. <laughs> it's an Amazon bag. It's just an Amazon envelope but it's made out of brown craft paper and it has padding do you guys get these sometimes if you order from amazon it has like a padding to it so i love that it's crinkly i love that it's thicker um i love that it's brown craft paper so we're gonna use this i tried to get this off not i mean it doesn't really matter because i'm gonna paint over it and cover it oh but it comes off so pull that off we're gonna use this. I'm going to get the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. We are going to create a bag and we are going to, or um, excuse me, a book out of this envelope. And I was like looking at the card. I want this card in here in the book. I want the card in the book. So I was trying to figure out, I got to cut the bag down to make a book. So I think like if I wanted to center it, that would be perfect, right? Or if I, if I sew it into the book, into the binding of the book, which I might do, we'll see, I'm not sure yet, um, it's gonna fit great if I cut it like right there. So all I did, all I did was fold it and figure out where, what do I need for this book? So what I need 
is for this to be cut so that the book is sized custom for this. <laughs> it's gonna be sized custom for that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move that over, I'm gonna grab a ruler, and what I think I'll do is just mark, should I go one inch? That would be rather big. I'm gonna grab my clear ruler, it's easier, my quilting ruler. If I grab my quilting ruler, which is clear, but it has markings on it, then I can do a half inch. I can mark a half inch over from the card, so I just have a half inch overhang, and I actually want it to go a half inch beyond the card this way, too. So I'm just going to take a pencil. You guys, I'm a rough. I am not, um, if you're a paper crafter and you're watching me, Everybody has their own style and way of doing things, and I am not a perfectionist. I used to be. I, I would call myself a recovering perfectionist. I'm going to give myself a mark here and here with a pencil, okay? Keeping this in position, I'll hold this up in a minute so you can see it, but I've got my mark there and there. Then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to do the same thing. I want a half inch there, and I want... Oh, I can't write. i got to stand up. I want a half inch here, and I want a half inch this way. I'm using the card as my um, like my base that I'm measuring from. And I'm gonna mark this here. Then I'm gonna give myself the line going this way. This line is only partially done. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna finish this line. Okay. I am not a perfectionist. I am a rough, so I just went half an inch, if you can see my pencil mark, half an inch all the way around. If I cut it like that, I'll have a nice size cover for my book. Now, I just gave myself pencil marks. You, girls, you can take out your paper cutter, the super straight lines. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. Um, I think I can get a pretty good straight line with my scissor without having to stress about any of that. And if it's off, I don't care. If it's off just a tish, I don't care. So this is going to be interesting because this does have... Hold on, it does have padding on the inside, so I gotta figure out a way to keep that in. I want the padding, I love the padding. I think the padding is very cool. I'll show you. Yeah, it's got like cotton or something on the inside. See it? Like little bubbles of cotton. Little bubbles of cotton. I'm gonna throw this piece out. I don't need any of this, I don't think. So that's all gonna go in the garbage. Talk about a junk journal, right? This is a junk journal. Something that you would have thrown out, we are gonna make it something pretty. So now I have the base of my book, but look what's happening. Okay, so you see what this is. This was the back of the envelope. This was the front of the envelope because it was an envelope. So I have now two sections that I can use in my book. I'm gonna use one of them for the cover. Look at this one, it's nice and plain. There's like no markings on it at all. The outside parts have markings, the inside parts do not. And then I have to contend with that edge. I think I see washi tape coming right there soon. <laughs> but first, I have to decide, do I want all of these layers or don't I? It makes it nice and like, I love the sound, I love the texture. I'm, I love mixed media, I love um, texture. So I love that it, it's not, like super smooth and perfect. Um, and I love that I'm using an envelope, envelope that would have gotten thrown out to make a journal, to make this little mini, I mean, it could be a, you could call it a junk journal, you can call it a mini art book, but literally this is junk that I'm using, so it's partially a junk journal, right? Okay, this is gonna come in here and it actually could cover up most of what we got going on on the cover. Actually, this could become our cover. I was thinking about putting this on the inside and leaving it just like it is as a card because I really want to preserve the card itself. Let's write the date on the back too because what is today? <laughs> March 1, 22. I'm, I, I was telling the girls earlier, I got happy mail and I'm like a really sappy person. I keep things like this. I keep Christmas cards. I keep birthday cards. I, I keep happy mail because it means so much to me that someone took the time to write me a note. Um, 
So I, Annette's card that she wrote to me can go in here too, actually. She wrote me a nice, beautiful card. And they can both go in here. And now I'm struggling to figure out, do I want this to be the cover? No. You know why? Because I want to keep the card in its entirety. That's too bold, so that's not going to be my cover. But I got all this that we can make the cover. Look at this beauty. Look at these papers. Now this is big enough that I could cut it down, you know, cut a piece of it and just glue it onto the top here and, and make that be my cover of this, this thing. That would cover up all of this wording, right? So we just gonna pick a paper that can be the cover. That's beautiful too. But I think, no, I do, I like this one. I think this is gonna be the one. This is gonna be the one. I love that it has script. I love that it has, um, it has script, it has florals. It has like some, like newspaper print back there. I love this. Okay, so this is gonna be it. So I've gotta cut this down now to size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my book on top. Again, with the pencil marking girls, because that's how I roll. Actually, I could do it like this. Line that up. Here I go with the pencil mark. I need it to be there. And then I need it to be, you guys, there's probably a hundred million ways to do this differently than the way I'm doing it. I'm keeping the edges. I'm, I was gonna cut it right to size, but I'm not. I'm just gonna cut it right there. Um. And I'm looking for my flat ruler, which I cannot find. I was gonna tear it, but since I don't have my flat ruler, let's do this. I'm gonna keep this whole length. There's, you know what they say, there's like a million ways to do something. If you do, do any of you do journaling? Do you do art journaling, junk journaling? Because if you do, um, you probably have other ways of doing this that make more sense in your head and that's all that matters. Don't worry about what I do. Just make it happen, like cover your book up. You don't have to worry about, it. am I doing it the right way or the wrong way? Did you cover your book up with something decorative? Yes. Then you did it. <laughs> so it's the right way because it's done. Done is better than like needing to be perfect. So don't worry about being perfect. Just have fun with it. I'm gonna use this cutting board to cut this down. I'm gonna go a tish bigger than, oh, should I go like a half inch bigger? Because then we can wrap. Yes. <laughs> I'm just changing my mind. Every step of the way, I'm changing my mind. Oh gosh, it's so funny. All right, what I'm thinking, even though this isn't a hardcover book, what I was thinking, I'm gonna keep this. This is gonna be, we're gonna use that in the book. This is gonna be the cover. See, that'll be pretty. And then that can be the back cover. Or maybe if I make this the front cover, then my words would be upside down. But how pretty would that be on the front? I'm gonna be a good doobie. <laughs> make, it, make it be just right. Okay, so if I do this, see what I did now? I have an overhang all the way around that I think I could fold over to make this um, it will take care of my it will take care of this stuff not falling out. I've never done this before, you guys. I've never done this with um, an Amazon bag. All right, I'm doing glue stick. Simple, easy supplies, like <clears throat> go to Dollar Tree, go to Walmart, go to your grocery store. They probably have glue sticks in the in the dollar aisle. Like our grocery store has like a dollar aisle. Okay, so I'm using the glue stick. You could use Mod Podge or something like that, but I'm not gonna get that, make this project that wet. There's always ways to reinforce things. So I'm gonna do the glue stick. I really like slabbered it with glue stick. I'm gonna stand up because I wanna make this as centered as I possibly can without 
worrying about being perfect. I'm going to make it as centered as I possibly can. And then I'm going to use the folds of, so I can fold this now here like this, right? I can fold this down and then that can become our cover. So I'm going to glue, I better get some, um, here, let's get like a little craft mat so I don't get glue all over my table. I'm going to glue here. And I'm really focusing on the white paper, but I'm gonna hit the edge of the brown paper too. And I'm just gonna fold this down. And actually, I, sh I can fold this in a way, even if my book isn't completely even, I can make sure that I fold the paper so that it's completely folded straight. I'm gonna get my bone folder. And this is gonna make a really pretty decorative cover. There we go. Boy, that be sticky, girlfriend. Ugh, it's all over my fingers. All right, so there's the top of the book. Now let's do this part. And look at, I am definitely not even. Look at how crooked that is right there. I don't care, I don't care. I'm having fun. I want you guys, this is what I want for you too. I want you to like, just totally relax about this stuff and have fun with it and don't take it so dang seriously. First of all, it's a paper craft. Second of all, it's a junk paper craft. So I'm using junk to make something pretty and it's gonna give me a way to save Miss Michelle's beautiful little card that she sent me, which makes my heart happy. Um, so it's about the process and the joy of the making. It's not necessarily and always about the end result. So I, oh, I sometimes say this, and I know it sounds so philosophical, but let go of the results. Like, don't be committed to the results. Be committed to just having fun with it and doing it. If, you, if you're so worried about results, you're not gonna create and craft. That's what happens, is we buy all these supplies, and then we get nervous we're gonna screw something up so we just don't ever start. Don't do that to yourself, my friend. I'm gonna fold this one over. I'm just doing a square fold here, right over the edge of everything else that I just folded. Using my bone folder, and you can use anything, like you could use this, just something solid, like an old credit card, old room key from the hotel, um, and just pressing that down. I love the wrinkly craft paper. I love it, I love it, I love it. And it matches so well the paper that Michelle sent me. Like, she sent me all that vintage, beautiful vintage decorative paper, and I'm going to use that to make the pages of this book. Junk journal, whatever you want to call it. I need more glue. More glue needed. Can't go skimpy on the glue. Good thing glue sticks are cheap, right? They're not very expensive. I went skimpy, though. I think it's because I didn't glue up the brown part. All right, there. Once you got it down and you get your folds nice, you can come in with your bone folder and do that. And then here's our cover, Franz. Look at this. I'm gonna fold it over. I love that it's fluffy. It feels like a little pillow. I'm gonna fold it over and I wanna make sure I get to the middle. So I'm gonna match up my edges and then use that bone folder to give yourself a nice crease. That's the back actually, but here's the front. And then we open it up and here's the back. That wasn't hard, right? And now I have this other one that we could include in the book as a set of the pages. We're gonna sew this all together. Or this, you could save this and make this another junk journal. But what I wanna do next is I wanna take the papers that she gave me and we're gonna choose some of these papers to make the pages of my junk journal, okay? So, cause she's gave, given us all, and then I'll save this because that can be used to embellish one of the plain pages. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm, I already went through these. There's some really unique pages and I these the ones that are on top are the ones that I picked for inside this book. Oh, my thumb hurts for some reason. The other ones I'm gonna put aside, but I'm gonna use all of these. And so this is one, two, three, four, five pages. We're gonna cut it down to size and then it's gonna become the inside of our book. It's cute, right, Joyce? 
<laughs> Thanks, Christina. Donna, I know she said, I can't wait for the March transfer. It's so darling. So darling. Jody, she said, like a pri when when people, what do people mean when they when they text you when they say t text BFF? Is it a private thing, Jody? It's so private, like girlfriend. <laughs> it's private, but I want you to join us. This is my text number. Hey, crafty chick, text me. Get on my text alert service. It's the way I keep in touch with everybody. I send, sometimes I send personal wacky things too, like behind the scenes. Um, take a little screenshot of this and then just text the word alerts or you can text the word crafty chicks to this number. I pay for the service. You pay your regular texting rates, but I pay for the service. You can just type in stop at any time if you wanna unsubscribe, just type in stop into the texting. Um, but what's cool about it is I will send out alerts when I'm going live or when something's going on, like a special deal or an offer. And then you guys can also text me back. It's a two-way texting service. That's why I call them my text BFF. Somebody texted me when Michelle, was it you? Who texted me while I was at the gym? And they said something to me. And while I was on the treadmill, I said, oh, I'm just getting my, I'm sweating my, getting my sweat groove on or something. I'm sweating it out at the gym. <laughs> you guys are my text BFFs. Someone texts me while I'm at the gym and I'm on, I text people while I'm making dinner I, because, because you guys can text me. <laughs> so feel free to get on that list. It is, it's my list, but Jody, you are all welcome to join that list. Um, all right, so let's do this. Marsha loves the napkins and the paper clips. I'm so glad. <laughs> Lynn, I, I love napkins and because I have the Napkin Lovers Club with this, which is the sub subscription club, the quarterly subscription box, I'm constantly searching for beautiful napkins. <laughs> I, I, I vet them all out and I do all the sourcing and then I put 15, usually it's, it's been 15 napkins in the box with craft supplies and send them to the, uh, to the members of that. That group is... April is the next box, so you can sign up now for the Napkin Lovers Club. Um, it's $39 for a quarter, so if you signed up now, that's for the April box, and then you would not be charged again until July 1st. Mary Grace, you're so sweet, hon. I love your comments. Hey, Laverne, hello, hello, sweetheart. She says, the napkins are beautiful, thank you for sharing, you're welcome. Um, thank you for sharing. I appreciate you guys who are sharing and sprinkling the love. Miss Katie, I see you. Oh, Trisha says, I've never used a napkin. Oh, Trisha, there's a whole world of creative goodness in napkins. <laughs> Good night, Christina. She said, I gotta get up early, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, Anne from North Carolina at Whimsically Knotted. Yeah, this is a great recycling project. I totally agree. Totally. All right, so I, I have to skip through some of the comments so we can get, <laughs> so that we can get on with it because you are, you guys, I love that you're chatting so much. This is so relaxing, Glow. Glow, my friend, I wanna to talk to you again and I can't move that thing. This is, this is exactly right. It's, she said, it's my therapy. This is my therapy too. <laughs> I love it, I love it so much. Um, probably a silly question, but I'm new at this. Joyce, no question is silly. When journaling in a book, do you decorate the front and back cover? I do. I do, I do. Sometimes I do it the first thing, and sometimes I wait until the end. But yes, but you don't have to. Your art journals and your art books are yours, and you can do whatever you want with them. Sharon says, I'm having trouble keeping my eyes open. I know it's late night. That's why we call it late night crafting. <laughs> That's why we call it eight night. Oh, Glow. She says, Grace is the best. She inspired me so much. Follow, like, and subscribe. Glow, you make my heart happy, girlfriend. Thank you for that vote of confidence. Thank you for the kind words. Really, you guys are awesome. Okay, I'm going to take this. Now, if I cut this exactly to the size that I did the cover, it's going to be a little bit too big. I can move that, that glue stick over. So I don't want it to be exactly the size of the cover. I need it to be a little bit, a tish, a tish smaller, right? So this is the scrap from what we cut before. So I'm gonna make a mark here, and I'm gonna make a mark here, and I know 
I need it to be smaller than that. That's, that's, that's about as fancy as I get with this. That's it. I'm going to cut all of these. But first, <laughs> I want to see, is there something specific on these pages? Like, I definitely want the bird. I don't want to cut the bird off, so I want to make sure I cut up on this side on this page. So I'm going to look at these quick. See, I don't want to cut her head off. So on this page, if I cut up here, she's not going to have a head. So I'm going to flip her around so I don't lose her head. <laughs> this one's all one pattern. This one, it doesn't really matter. This is cool though. This, this, let's, let's flip this one too. Okay. Oh, that's the one I made the markings on, you dumb fool. <laughs> There's my marking. The last one that I flipped over, because I don't, if I don't want to lose this, then I have to make sure. I'd say I just called myself a dumb fool. I, uh, um, you guys, it's pretty darn relaxed here. We're just having some fun and hanging out as crafty chicks. Okay, I'm going to make the mark here, and then I'm going to cut it smaller than that, because it's the inside of the book. I don't want it to be the same size as the cover. I want it to be a tish smaller. For some reason, you guys, I know, I went to the gym and my legs hurt, but for some reason tonight, my thumb really hurts me right now. <laughs> Thumb. It just hurts. I don't know why. I think I have an arthritis. Um, my whole family, my mother's side of the family, they all suffered with arthritis. And I think I'm going to have a diagnosis at some point in my, my adult life. I will have a diagnosis of arthritis. In fact, my chiropractor took an x-ray of my neck and said, you got something going on here that looks like arthritis. And some other issues in my neck on my spine. So how fun is that, right? It's fun to get older, use up our bodies. Okay, I'm gonna, there's my marking. Here's my cut line right here, like this this, this spot right here, that little groove. So I'm gonna come in a little because I don't want it to be the same size as my book cover. And I'm using this just so I can get through all of them at once. So now I have all these scraps that I can use for other things in the book to embellish with. I won't throw those out, of course not. But here are my here are my book pages. And then what I'm gonna do is get them all flipped the right way. Because remember I flipped some of them, she's upside down now. But we kept her head, we didn't lose her head. We were gracious to her. And this one, we just gotta get flipped. So this is, will become the center of my book. So if I take, uh-oh, now it's still too big. I gotta cut it down the other way. Fool, oh, I'm getting too excited. Hold on. I'm just making sure I gotta cut it the other way now too. What did I do wrong here? Oh, I know, it's because we folded in the sides. See, we make mistakes and we just, just fix it. It's not a big deal. See, because I folded in all the sides of that original piece, I actually need to go even smaller. <laughs> what a dope. What a dope. All right, there's my line now. Let's try this again, friends. Um, I need it to be... smaller on all sides so that I can fit it inside the book. Okay, so we're going to go... And willy-nilly, I don't measure. I don't care if it's a quarter inch or if it's a third of an inch. It doesn't matter to me as long as they're all the same. And actually, most of the time, my pages aren't all the same in size. Most of the time in my books. Because I like it that way. I like it to be a little willy-nilly and goofy. Okay, now, now we're, we're getting somewhere. Now, I still have to cut off, though, the edges. Right now, we're good this way. But I got to cut like right there. So let's check real quick. I don't want to cut anything important off. She's going to lose her half. We're going to lose half of her. But I got the other big lady on the other side. Yeah, that, that would work perfectly for me. So I'm going to cut it smaller than that mark. I just made that little mark right there. Third of an inch, quarter of an inch. Does it matter? I don't think so not to me it doesn't so there's where it would be and then I'm going to move it over just a little bit and we're going to cut that off now are you right 
Now, will you all fit in here perfectly if I fold you straight in half? Lordy Lord, why is my thumb hurt? If I fold you straight in half, what you gonna look like in there? You're gonna be perfect. Look, you guys, it's perfect. This is gonna become my book. Look at Michelle, all of these beautiful pages that you sent me are gonna become my book. So here's the center of my book. Here's the center of my pages. And if I put that down, you guys, I'm spot on. Like this is spot on. I want you to look at the edges. I have, you know, your inside pages of your book usually are in a little bit from the edges. Look, I'm in just a little bit on all my edges. You want to be in just a little bit because you don't want your inside sticking out of the book normally, right? You don't want that. So here's the only thing now. The next decision you have to make, bookmaker, <laughs> when you're making a book. Here's my cover. I've got all these matching gorgeous papers. So paper packs are your friend when you're building books if you want the pages to coordinate. If you don't care and you really like them to be unique and every page different, then you should really just take from your stash what you have. But if you are if you want things to match, then buy a paper pack of matching coordinating papers. But here's the issue we have now because these are not double-sided pages. White page. White page. <laughs> Where these are all gonna be white. And when I get to the middle, I'm gonna have a double spread of white. Oh, this one's upside down. That's okay. And we have a double spread of white. This one should be this way to get the wording the right way. And then all of these will be white. So what I usually do just to mix it up. Now, actually, that is quite pretty. If you just kept them all white, then you'd have all these other pages to decorate. But what I usually do is I randomly choose some of them and I just fold them the other way so that they're not all facing the same direction. So maybe I'll stick this one in here because I folded it the other way so that we have white page, white white and white, now two, two colored ones, okay? So easy breezy fix for that if you want to mix them up. I think I'm gonna keep this one all going the same direction. But I, I do wanna make sure before I sew this in I wanna make sure I like the placement of the papers. I don't want two newspaper looking ones together, like one right after the other. So I want a floral in between them. So I'm gonna put this one back in the middle. So now we can, like that could be your book alone. That could be your book. Or remember we still have this that we could put in here. I'm gonna save this I think for another cover. Um, but here's my card. This could be the center of my book. Amazing people can do amazing things. That could be the center of my book, and it's my greeting card with my sweet note. Thank you for all you do. I'm glad I found you. Great teacher and mentor. God bless you, Michelle. I can't. I can't let it go. I have to keep that, Michelle. I love it so much, and it means a lot to me. So I'm going to keep this right in the center. This will become the center of my book. Okay, then what I usually do is we take things like this, all of our little scraps that coordinate and we use those to embellish and decorate all of these pages and to create tuck spots and little pockets and flaps and flips and all that jazz. I'm gonna keep this though, and this actually, because this is a nice thick card, it gives the center of this book some, some solid. So let's get this bound together. Should I bind it first and then do the napkin? Let's see, let's get our napkin ready. I'm gonna, I gotta separate the plies. So I do the little lick method. I don't like the, my thumb hurts too much. I can't even do that because my thumb hurts that much. I gotta separate these. Here's the napkin. I'm gonna give two of these away tonight. So hang tight, ladies. Those of you who are able to hang tight, good gravy. I can't see it and I can't get it because I got no fingernails. So two, I got a double whammy of, of uh, challenge here. There we go. We got it. This looks like a two-ply. <gasps> and look at bonus. We got a bonus with this napkin, girls. Those of you that win this tonight, you get a like a bonus. Look at your second one has the shadowing on it. Your second piece. Oh, I just ripped it. Darn it. 
I get so excited. I ripped the napkin, but it's okay because when I glue it on, you won't even notice the rip. See right here, it's stuck pretty strongly and that little piece tore. Let go. All right, that can go aside. I'll use that for something else. This one, I want to make sure I don't have another layer of napkin and I don't. So it's just one layer. I think um, I actually could use this to make, can I get this to go across the whole page? No, no. It's not quite big enough, but it sure would cover most of the page. Like if I did it on the inside of one of these blank pages, like that could be a really pretty opposite, right? So hold on. In here, where we have some of the newsprint would be a really sensible place to put it because it will dress up the newsprint page. So we have two newsprint pages, if I can get to the other one. We have that one, which is very plain, and then we have this one. So I'm going to put this napkin on this facing page right here so that when you're looking at your book, you're gonna open it and you're gonna have this page glued down there so it's gonna be decoupaged on there and it gives like a really bright, beautiful. Right, I love that. Okay, let's do it. So now I just wanna work with this one piece of paper. I have never, I don't think I've ever decoupaged on paper, but we're gonna do it. I just want this one piece of paper because I'm gonna glue this down onto the opposite page here, so that in the book it's next to the newspaper print. But here's my dealio again. It's too big. It's too big, so I gotta cut it down. So I'm gonna fold so it meets the edge. And I'm gonna fold. I gotta turn it around so I can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna fold so it meets the edge. And I'm good with it if it's like, you guys, if it's a tish off, I would rather be a tish short then a tish long on something like this because the paper is so thin that I'm gluing it on. So I'm trying to fold this because I need to cut all of that off. I need to cut those pieces off. Probably the easiest way for me to do that is with a ruler. I, I think maybe I could just tear this because it's so thin. I don't have my, my favorite ruler for tearing is flat. But this is okay. I'm going to go a little bit... Let's do this. Let's go just a tish smaller. I'm gonna grab a paintbrush, just a regular paintbrush. I'm gonna wet the end of it, and I'm gonna wet the napkin along this line, and then it's gonna tear away in a very natural tear. It'll tear away very naturally. I usually use, just to make it easier on myself, like a squeegee or something to pull that napkin away. You can use like a, a, like a pencil eraser. This will give us a nice natural tear look to the edge of this paper or this napkin before I glue it down. So what I have is not a cut line from like scissors. It's just a nice natural paper tear. It like reminds me of rice paper. So here's my line. I'm gonna put my ruler down on my line, same thing. Ruler down on the line. It doesn't have to be exactly on the line because I'm tearing it anyway. I'm gonna wet this line with just water, it's just water, that's all that was. And then we're just gonna take this and where it's torn, it's gonna really easily pull away, or excuse me, where it's wet, it's gonna really easily pull away. I need a little more water over here. I want it a little more ragged on this side. Because I like the ragged look. Yeah, I like like the edges to be a little, a little wonky, okay? This can go in the garbage. Oh, it fell on the floor. Oh, I think it fell on the floor. Okay. So this is going to get glued down in here. And see, it's going to have a white frame around it because it's torn. So that'll be pretty. Nice torn pages. I have never decoupaged on paper before. So try something. I'm going to be a little daring, people. I'm going to try something different I've never done before. Should we try a glue stick? I'm thinking if I put Mod Podge on this paper, the paper is going to crinkle up a whole lot because it's so wet. The glue stick 
that's not going to happen. So I'm going to put a big square of glue stick on this paper, and then I'm going to just put some lines. Ooh, dirty glue stick. It had some lint on it or something. <laughs> Gross. Now I'm just doing some lines. Now I don't need absolute full coverage. It's a napkin. It's going to stick pretty darn good to this. What I do need is to make sure I get my middle lined up so I know where my middle mark is. I'm going to fold it so I have the, the middle mark is where we're going to sew this whole thing together, the binding. I'm just going to make sure that the middle is as straight as it can be. I have never done this, you guys, before, so please don't think I'm like some fancy guru. What I want to do is like really encourage you guys to just go for it. Okay. Got one side like in the middle part done. And before I do anything with this other side, I'm going to focus on flattening out this napkin into that glue. Hey, it works. Okay, now we can roll this one out. If you had a brayer, you know, your brayer actually would do you some good here. This is the spot where I ripped the napkin, so I want to make sure that that fills in, which it did. We're just pushing it into the glue. That's all. All I did was push it in there. Now, I could absolutely come over this with a very light coat of, not Mod Podge, I'm going to use my favorite, decoupage. This is what I use for my glue. It's a Liquitex Matte Medium. Everybody who joins the Napkin Lovers Club gets a couple of ounces of this. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this on a paintbrush um, and I'm gonna spread it over this napkin just to get it to stick down on the edges. So I'm just taking a tiny little bit of this and I'm gonna glue this down. Craft mat needed. It's gonna really make those edges. See, so see this edge right here that's sticking up? That's what I'm after. So I'm gonna hit it with this glue. It's a wet glue and then it's not gonna be sticking up anymore. It's gonna make my pages curl a little bit, but I think it's worth it to get these to behave. It's like, you know, that one hair that's like sticking up off your head and you need to use a little hairspray to get it to just, just even though you don't normally use hairspray, but you run into the bathroom before church and you're like, get that stinker to just stay down, behave yourself. All right. We got this girl. I could go over the whole thing. I could, but actually I'm kind of liking the loose nature of the glue stick with the napkin. Oh, hold on. I'm going to get good coverage here. I'm going to go underneath with the glue and then on top to get that one. It's just being stubborn. Maybe I didn't use enough glue. I'm trying, purposefully trying just to use a little bit because I don't want my paper to get all super curly on me tonight. Okay, if I'm working alone, normally actually the curly wouldn't mind, I wouldn't mind the curly because I would just let it sit after it dries, I would put it in a book or something heavy and just let it sit and all the curl comes right out of it. So that's never, that's never a problem as far as I'm concerned. Okay, that's gonna dry, but in the meantime, let's grab our book and we can sew this together. This is gonna dry though. This is going to dry. You can't have wet glue in the book. No wet glue allowed. And I need the cover to my, my glue stick. It's beautiful. Isn't it pretty? Oh, look what happened. See? This is the spot that I ripped. <laughs> Not enough glue stick there. <laughs> Hold on. You know what I'm going to do? I already put my my paintbrush with the glue in the water. So I'm just gonna take my finger and I'm gonna brush it over that spot, hoping to get it to stick. It's pretty. This is gonna add a lot of color to this book. All right, let's see. It's pretty dry. Not perfect, but that's okay, because that's how I roll. I'm pretty loosey, goosey, and relaxed about this stuff, and I want you to be too. This is the place, was it? Is it? Is it? Yeah, this was the page that I wanted it on, so it's gonna be opposite this page. I wanna make sure, now it's kind of, um, 
wiggly. <laughs> the whole page is a little bit wiggly because the 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 um, wetness of the glue. Oh, it's upside down now. The wetness of the glue caused the paper to get wonky. All right, but that's okay. We're reinforcing that center line. And what we wanna make sure is that all of these are fitting in nicely before we go to um, sew this all together. So making sure they're all even. I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna go like this. I am gonna just do this once. I would normally do this a couple of different sections because we have left a, a few different pages here. But for the sake of time and because it's a simple junk journal, I'm gonna punch my holes just once. I gotta make sure everything's in place though, so hang tight. Standing up, making sure this center line that everything is lined up perfectly. This doesn't take but a minute. Got some clamps to hold this. It's not gonna reach my card though. My card's just a little short. Oh, there it reached the card. We wanna make sure that this fold right there is all lined up, okay? And then my card is a little bit low. I, I generally, you guys, I don't get worked up over that stuff, but eh, if it works you up, then get, get perfect about it. Okay, I'm gonna get my pokey tool. If I can find it, I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna eyeball it, cause that's how I roll. You can, I, I, you know, <laughs> I shouldn't say that. In my, in my classes, in the craft therapy club, we've been doing a lot of books lately. And the one that we did a couple of months ago um, was a very in, um, involved book with, um, how many signatures ladies did it have? Did it have like eight or eight signatures or something? And that one we used a template for. I'm not using a template tonight. I'm gonna eyeball my center and make a pokey hole. <laughs> I call it a pokey hole. I want to go through all the layers and then I'm just gonna go up a couple of inches, make a pokey hole. I want to make sure it gets through all the layers. Make sure everything stays in place. You don't want anything getting all wonky on you. The clips help everything to stay in place. And now I'm gonna go up, you know, we're just a couple. I eyeball it. You can you can get a measure, you can make a template. Tonight we're having fun, so I'm not worried about any of that. Okay, I've got my three holes and they have to go all the way through. Oh, this one. Come on, baby doll. There you go. All right, now get out some thread. Who's made books before? Hey, Tony. Still watching. You were watching a couple of other crafters at the same time. Oh, Tony, thanks for sticking it out. This is a fun project tonight. I love, I love paper crafting. I love making books. I love sharing it with you guys. Um, I do it, we do a lot of napkin journaling in the Napkin Lovers Club. We do a lot of general crafts, mixed media and paper crafts in the Craft Therapy Club. So if you're at all interested in any of them, just go to thecomfynestwithgrace.com and you can read about the different options and join whichever one you want. Or all of them, some of you are in all three of them. Okay, I'm not gonna get into the technicalities of this binding that I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna explain it to you tonight. That's what the membership groups are for. But I'm gonna get this bound up. So I'm gonna start in my middle and I'm gonna go out. And <laughs> normally I would use a needle, but if I can get this through, if I can get this through without a needle, Hallelujah. Praise be Jesus. Thank you for making my life easier tonight. I'm keeping the clips on. It helps to just keep everything in place until you get this sewn together. Okay, so that's just my thought on that. We need my little tail there. Now, I gotta flip the book. Sorry, girls. Gotta do the flip de doodle I'm gonna go through this layer. When I can't, when my layers get wonky, I just use my awl to get in there and reestablish that hole while I'm holding it really tightly with my thumb right there. Then it's easier <laughs> to find your hole again if you need to. Now this last one, I need to get it through the center hole and there's already, there's already some rope through there. So 
I'm going to see if I can do this without a needle. I usually use a needle. But for, like I said, for the sake of time, we're doing a quickie here. We've got a quickie. We're doing a quickie book. There it is. I got it. I got it. My thumb, though. Why is my thumb so achy? Stop it with the aching. Okay. It's sewn in the middle. We've got two stitches. One, two in the middle. Well, that looks all wonky now. And here are my tails outside. Now I can take these off, my, my clippies. I can take them off. I'm going to pull on the rope, my thread, pretty tightly. I want to make sure that this on the inside is nice and tight so that the book stays and holds together well. And I'm going to really, you don't want to pull too tightly, but I do want to pull tightly. I'm going to make get one of these on one side of the thread and one on the other. And we are going to knot this up. There, my book is done. Looky, looky. Now we have pages to decorate and play with. And where's our napkin? Where are you, napkin? There it is. There's that beautiful napkin page. And I'll have the facing page over here. Like the other side of that napkin page is going to be in the back of the book, right? There it is. But as I'm flipping through, I have that opposite this really plain newsprint page and then we have some florals and then a newsprint so on this page be, because I'm girly <laughs> I would take something like this paper this floral paper I would take this and use this as an embellishment on this page because I want to I want to draw in some of the other pretty papers with the florals I want to draw it into this so I think that that's what I'll do is make this like a belly band And actually, you know what would be fun? One last thing. I, I could do this for, you guys, I could do this for days. Literally, like, craft a holic paper craft it for days. We got the washi tape. <laughs> I think I could make this, um, you know, if I put this in the middle as a strip right here, as a belly band, I could tape these two with some pretty tapes. Like, I have some really pretty... Let me find a nice, wide, pretty tape that I have. Um, black and white would be very cool. As would... Should we do something really funky? Hold on, I'm looking at them, girls. Oh, this one. Look at this one. That could be really pretty. It, might, it actually makes me think of, like, old-fashioned kitchen. Like, the, the wallpaper that might be in an old-fashioned kitchen. This is from the, the washi tape shop. Um, they're like legit Japanese company. And you guys, I have a discount code for the washi tape shop. So if you're ever shopping from them, go into the free club, the um, Crafty Chicks Club, and go into the featured tabs and you'll get the discount code in there. So when you're ordering your washi tape club tapes, because they're, so, they're legit, man, they're just beautiful. This one, it has a backing on it, so it makes it a lot easier to play with and to use. I need this to be this long. I'm not a measurer, measurer, so I'm just gonna say I need it that long. <laughs> that's, that's the extent of my measuring, you guys. That's how fancy I get. I'm gonna put this on the edge here. I think this could be really pretty. But I have this on here. This has gotta come off. They put a piece of washi tape on the end to hold the washi tape down on the roll. And I'll, I'm hoping I can get it off because eh, you're giving me a hard time. Got most of it off. Now this could go here. Like super pretty since this little edge is messed up. I'm going to flip it this way so that gets covered by the belly band. <laughs> a little trick. All right. This is just really thin washi, decorative washi tape. So let's put a piece of this here on this edge. And I don't need this to be perfect because that's me. I don't need it to be perfect. I don't want it to be perfect. It's a junk journal and I'm using my supplies. Look at how pretty that is. It actually has a little bit of a sheen to it. Now, if I put this on top of here, now it's not so plain, right? That's wide enough that I could make this a pocket this way. <gasps> it's wide enough. 
I was going to put one on each side and put this right in the center. And I was going to put one of that on each side. But I think I'm going to go like this. I've got a new idea in the house, girls. We're going to go like this. We're going to mark this and cut it right here. Because, again, I don't worry about super, super um, perfection here. We're going to make this a little tuck spot. That's what I'm doing here. I need my tape runner. I'm going to tape one, two, three, and leave this one open. Okay? That's open. That means this gets taped. Oh, I went too far in, but that's okay. That's okay. I can't see a dang thing. I need more light in here. <laughs> If I turn on my lamp on my table, it gives you guys a really terrible glare. So I don't usually put it on while I'm live. All right, let's see. We're going to tape this down. Move over washi tape. I need room. Mama needs room to move and work. Oh, how pretty. How pretty. So I'm pulling in one of the other pieces of paper. That It's, it's the same paper that we use somewhere else in here in the book. And now I made this little band here that if I wanted to write a little note on here, this is extra piece of paper, that's like a little pocket that I could stick tickets in, invitation, maybe it's the baby announcement. Like I love the idea of using these little books to commemorate or to remember something special. Maybe it's a wedding, maybe it's your daughter's wedding shower or her bachelor party or the baby's first few days coming home from the hospital, you know, and grandma, you get to hold the baby for the first time. So you're gonna put some of those photos in here and the baby's little wristband goes in there. And I just think you could use these little books for so many different, like almost like a mini scrapbook is the way I think of it. Um, I just have, I just find great joy in the process of making the books. So I'm not gonna do it tonight because of the sake of time. I'm gonna do the giveaways and we'll, we'll uh, call it a night, but Hold on, just flip through real quick and show you what we got done tonight, which was quite a lot, actually. And then to me, the fun part being what comes next too, part of what's so fun about this is then you take the scraps that you have left over and you can start embellishing and adding more stuff to the inside of your book. So here's our front cover. This is an Amazon envelope. I love the craft paper. I wouldn't even cover that up because I love that so much. It's the crinkly craft paper from the envelope. And then we start flipping through. You're gonna have some white pages that you can do anything you want with. You saw me just cover one up with one idea, but do so many different things with that. And then we're gonna flip through and we're gonna just see some of the beautiful papers that Michelle sent me. I'm gonna give two of these napkins away tonight with some of the clips that Michelle gave me but we're just gonna do a quick flip through. So if you can find double-sided decorative paper, then all of your sides would have decorative parts to it. Sometimes I like to have the white side because then you get to use your imagination to drum up any other little way of using your scraps and decorating those pages. Um, see how you just can tuck stuff in there? Um, and washi tape. Washi tape is a great thing to use in these books. Okay, so here's the center, and here's Michelle's card to me that I got to totally keep in here. Here's another white page, but now we're going back to the back of the book. Now we're in that we've passed the center, and we're moving. Oh, there she is, Miss Glamour Girl. She's got all her florals there. And then we're back to the end. There's my little bird and my clock. There's my craft paper. And then I have those beautiful florals on the back. Now these, I often will um, bead. I'll, I'll put beads on them and have little dangly. So I don't need this one part to be quite so long. So I'm gonna cut them so they're about the same length. And then I will keep the same. You can cut this dangly all the way. You can cut this all the way here so that you don't see any strings. But I usually leave them on there because I like the option of hanging a key, like a little decorative key embellishment or some beads and a key or a little crown or a bumblebee or whatever you want to put on there. All right, what do you think? So fun, right? Trisha says, I love that. She's fun, right? Jana says she's so fun with the colorful napkin next to her. That's a, that's a great page right there, right? 
you can use this as a mini journal and write to your heart's content on the blank pages. You could write, if you used it as like a travel journal. On your blank pages, you're gonna write the date and what you did that day and your feelings about it and who you got to see or meet. Oh, there's so many options, so many possibilities with these. All right, I know you guys have been wanting to know who's gonna win the napkins. I'm gonna give away two napkins. I'm gonna give away some of the clips that Miss Michelle sent to me. In fact, I'm gonna grab one and put it in my book just to show you, because like the clips can be a decorative part of your journal making and your, look at how pretty that is. So they're all different colors, um, but like I could take that, and if I wanted to, like her card, has this sweet sentiment from her on the inside. And if I wanted to keep that more private, I could actually just clip that together, right? You could use your clips any way that you want. But there you go. I'm gonna give away a couple of the napkins and I'm gonna give away a couple of the clips to go with them. I'm just gonna mail those in a first class envelope to two people. If I call your name, you need to private message me with your mailing address so I can do that. Um, the last time I did this, I gave away three napkins and only two people claimed them. So one napkin just never got sent to anybody because the person didn't send me their ma mailing address. So you need to private message me or text me, use my text number and text me your mailing address if I call your name. Lynn says, we do a lot of short motorcycle adventures. This would be great to make a small memory book. Exactly, like a little weekend trip like that. You could, you'd have plenty of room in here for your event tickets or your toll receipts or whatever it is that you love to keep. I am, I am sentimental. So I do keep receipts and I keep event tickets and I keep like, I keep that stuff. I do. I don't know why, but I do. I do. There are name tags from Disney. I kept them. They're hanging right here. I just keep stuff like that. So this would be a great little book to keep that stuff in. You're welcome, dear. We do a lot. Of, oh, yeah, I've read that one already. Pick me, pick me, Christy says. <laughs> yes, you could use the clip on whatever page you want. Trisha, I'm so glad you found me, too. I love that you guys hang out with me, and you're, you're just chilling out, and we're having some fun, and we're learning some things, and seeing what we can do together with our little uh, creative minds when we put them together. Oh, thanks, Kana. That's a sweet thing to say. I appreciate you. Cheryl loves it. I'm so glad. I love the, plain. Deborah says I love the plain craft paper. I do too. The crinklier, the better, because it makes noise and it's got texture. And this stuff, this these envelopes have that, I showed you the little pockets of cotton in them. All right, giving away two sets of napkins. So let's do those first. I'm gonna randomly scroll. I'm gonna scroll on my iPad. So my iPad's right here. I got the comments right there. I, so I'm watching the comments on my iPad. I'm gonna scroll all the way to the beginning. And then I'm just gonna randomly let my eyes stop. Let me get to the beginning first. So I, I just don't want, I wanna give everybody a chance to win. Okay, first name that I see is, it's actually the messy craft corner, Miss Jimmy Lou. Miss Jimmy Lou, napkins and clips, girlfriend. I will send some in the mail to you, Miss Jimmy Lou. Hey, we're fair here. Jimmy Lou is like a, I would say a business partner. She was one of the guests in the nests last month she was one of my guests in the nest i have um new guests coming in actually next week it's gonna be next friday i'll be back from mexico and on friday at one o'clock i have two new guests in the nest coming to you um beth hayden back and justin from designing or dustin dustin gibson from designing with dustin they're gonna be guests and what i do is we all get on camera together live together and we create with a theme. So I'll give them a theme, a prompt, and then like, so Jimmy Lou, Pat from Unique and I, that was the first one that we did and um, it was a mason jar or a jar. Like we just had to create anything we wanted that had to do with a jar. <laughs> that was really fun. Pat made the most adorable gnome and Jimmy Lou made a recipe book, like a, a total recipe book. Like, yeah, that was really fun. So, Miss, she said she fluffed and she feathered the nest. So, messy craft corner, Miss Jimmy Lou, you won. Okay, N Jimmy Lou, I have, I think I have your address, but please message me anyway so I don't forget that I pulled your name. I'm not writing this down, you guys. I'm counting on you to tell me. Next winner is Donna Cowger. Donna Cowger. 
You guys are so sweet. She said something about Michelle. She was so generous and even offered napkin store visitors on your last live. She, Michelle is so sweet. She is one of the sweetest crafty chicks we have here. She's the one, she's the whole inspiration. Like this stuff came from her. So Michelle made low, yeah. But that was the comment that got Donna Cowger a napkin and some clips. So Donna and Jimmy Lou, private message me with your mailing address, please. Especially Donna, um, so that I can send that in the mail to you. Next up is the Chalk Couture cutting board. This is the kit that's $22 right now on my site. And you get everything you need to make this other than the ribbon. Um, so you can go order that. I've pinned that, the pinned comment is the link to grab the kit. If you've never tried Chalk Couture before, we did this earlier and super fun. Um, but I'm giving this actual board that I just made away when I pull the name, I just want to tell you, I am not going to top coat this because I don't really see a need to top coat it. But when you get it, you can feel free to spray a top coat on it. Um, but I don't top coat my own, so I'm not going to top coat the giveaway. But I am going to give it away to, let me scroll, scroll, scroll. The next name that I see is Glow Jerkins. This is awesome. Love it, she says. <laughs> Glow Jerkins, you just won the board. So send me... A message and tell me um, that you won the board and that what your mailing address is and glow if you can give me your email address too because this will get a tracking number I will send it um, it's not first it's not a first-class stamp I'm gonna have to pay some postage on this one so I'll send you a tracking number so we got glow and Jimmy Lou and Donna just all one so rather than putting names in the basket you guys make sure you visit my lives because I'm gonna be doing this Probably not every single live, but I will be doing this, let's say, for like weekend, because I go live throughout the whole week, but let's say late night crafting. I'll do it during late night crafting on Tuesday nights at nine. She says, OMG, thank you. You're welcome, Glow. Look at the little hearts. So let's count on this on late night crafting, and then maybe I'll spatter some other little gifts and prizes elsewhere. Um, so join me for sure for late night crafting. Well, I love having your company all the time, of course. If you're catching the replay, let me know that you're catching the replay too. Congrats. You guys are so sweet to each other. All right, you guys, I got a big old fat mess to clean up in here because I don't clean as I go for the most part. <laughs> so I'm going to hang it up, say good night and many blessings to you all. I hope you sleep well. Um, and go make something pretty. Go make something pretty that brings your heart joy. Just, just play and have fun and don't worry about perfection. And I will catch you next time. Now, tomorrow I am live for Craft Around the Clock in the morning. Those on my text alert system, I will send a text pretty close to the time because I think, I think it's like around 10, 9.45, maybe 10, I don't know, sometime around 10 a.m. Central time. So knowing that that's like 8 a.m. for some people on the West Coast, 7 a.m., it gets early for you guys. So I won't send a text early, early morning, but I will send a text to let you guys know I'm live tomorrow. Live for that. I have several things going on tomorrow. What are they? I can't remember. I have three things that I have to do tomorrow. The live for the craft around the clock group is in the morning though. So we'll do another, we'll do another creative project tomorrow morning. Join me then. You guys have a beautiful, blessed night. Go make something pretty. Talk to you later.